Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe. Koshinya. Shredded chicken croquettes that are breaded and deep fried to golden perfection. Koshinya is a beloved Brazilian street food and snack that consists of deep fried chicken croquettes. These savory treats are shaped like small chicken drumsticks and are incredibly popular throughout Brazil. Cochinhas are made by enclosing a flavorful chicken filling in a dough made from a mixture of shredded chicken and a wheat-based dough. Here's a basic recipe to make cochinha. Ingredients. For the filling. 2 cups cooked chicken breast, shredded. 1 small onion, finely chopped. 2 cloves garlic, minced. 2 tablespoons vegetable oil. 1 half cup chicken broth. Salt and pepper to taste. A pinch of paprika, optional. Chopped fresh parsley, optional. For the dough, 2 cups chicken broth, 2 cups all-purpose flour, 2 tablespoons butter, salt to taste. For breading and frying, 2 to 3 cups breadcrumbs, 2 to 3 eggs, beaten. Vegetable oil for deep frying. Instructions. Preparing the filling. Heat the vegetable oil in a skillet over medium heat. Add the chopped onion and garlic and saute until they become translucent. Add the shredded chicken to the skillet and stir-fry for a few minutes. Season the chicken mixture with salt, pepper, and paprika, if using. You can also add chopped fresh parsley for extra flavor. Pour in the chicken broth and simmer the mixture until most of the liquid has evaporated, leaving you with a flavorful chicken filling. Remove it from heat and set it aside to cool. Preparing the dough. In a separate saucepan, bring the chicken broth and butter to a boil. Add a pinch of salt to taste. Gradually add the flour to the boiling broth while stirring continuously. Keep stirring until the mixture forms a thick, smooth dough that doesn't stick to the sides of the pan. This dough is known as, Massa de Cochinha. Remove the dough from the heat and allow it to cool slightly. Assembling and frying Cochinhas. Take a portion of the dough and flatten it in your palm, creating a small circle. Place a spoonful of the chicken filling in the center of the dough. Fold the dough over the filling to encase it completely, shaping it into an elongated, drumstick-like form. Seal the edges to prevent any filling from escaping. Dip each cochinha in beaten eggs and then roll it in breadcrumbs, ensuring it's well coated. Heat vegetable oil in a deep fryer or a large, deep skillet to 350 to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, 175 to 190 degrees Celsius. Carefully lower the cochinhas into the hot oil and fry until they are golden brown and crispy, which usually takes about 4 to Asai na tigla. Asai berry smoothie bowls topped with granola, banana slices, and honey. Asai na tigla, often referred to as just asai bowl, is a popular Brazilian dish made from asai berries. It's a thick, smoothie-like bowl that is typically topped with a variety of toppings, making it a nutritious and delicious meal or snack. Asai berries are known for their high antioxidant content and are often considered a superfood. Here's how to make an asai bowl. Ingredients. For the acai bowl, 2 packs of frozen acai berry puree, unsweetened. 1 half to 1 ripe banana, for sweetness and creaminess. 1 quarter cup of liquid, such as coconut water, almond milk, or regular milk. Toppings of your choice, see suggestions below. Topping ideas, fresh berries, strawberries, blueberries, raspberries. Sliced banana, granola, honey or agave syrup, chia seeds, coconut flakes nut butter, almond butter, peanut butter, sliced almonds or other nuts, dark chocolate chips or cacao nibs, fresh mint leaves. Instructions. Start by breaking the frozen acai berry puree packs into smaller pieces. This will make blending easier. In a blender, combine the frozen acai berry puree, ripe banana, and your choice of liquid, coconut water, almond milk, or regular milk. Blend the mixture until it reaches a thick and creamy consistency. You may need to stop and scrape down the sides of the blender a few times to ensure everything is well mixed. Taste the acai mixture and adjust the sweetness by adding more banana or sweetener if desired. Once you have the desired consistency and sweetness, pour the acai mixture into a bowl. Now comes the fun part. Add your favorite toppings. Arrange fresh berries, banana slices, granola, nuts, seeds, and any other toppings you like on top of the acai mixture. Drizzle honey or agave syrup over the top for extra sweetness if desired. Serve the acai bowl immediately and enjoy it with a spoon. Acai bowls are not only delicious but also packed with antioxidants, vitamins, and fiber.
They make for a healthy and satisfying breakfast or snack. You can customize your acai bowl with a variety of toppings to suit your taste and dietary preferences. Whether you're in Brazil or elsewhere, acai bowls have become a popular and nutritious choice for those looking for a refreshing and flavorful treat. Brigadeiro. Sweet chocolate fudge balls made from condensed milk, cocoa powder, and chocolate sprinkles. Brigadeiro is a beloved Brazilian sweet treat, often described as chocolate fudge truffles. These bite-sized delights are a staple at Brazilian celebrations, from birthdays to festivals. They are made from just a few simple ingredients, and their sweet, chocolatey flavor is adored by people of all ages. Here's a basic recipe for making brigadeiro. Ingredients. 2 tablespoons unsweetened cocoa powder. 1 can, 14 ounces, sweetened condensed milk. 2 tablespoons unsalted butter. Chocolate sprinkles, cocoa powder, or chocolate shavings, for coating. Butter or cooking spray, for greasing hands. Instructions. In a non-stick saucepan, combine the cocoa powder, sweetened condensed milk, and butter. Place the saucepan over medium-low heat and start stirring the mixture continuously with a wooden spoon or spatula. Continue to stir the mixture for about 10 to 15 minutes, or until it thickens and starts to pull away from the sides of the saucepan. You'll know it's ready when you can see the bottom of the saucepan as you stir. Remove the saucepan from heat and let the mixture cool for a few minutes. Once the mixture is cool enough to handle, grease your hands with butter or cooking spray to prevent sticking. Then, take small portions of the mixture and roll them into bite-sized balls, about one inch in diameter. Roll the brigadeiros in chocolate sprinkles, cocoa powder, or chocolate shavings to coat them evenly. Place the brigadeiros in small paper or foil cups for a traditional presentation or on a plate lined with wax paper. Allow them to cool completely and firm up before serving. Brigadeiros are a delightful treat with a rich, chocolatey flavor and a smooth, fudgy texture. They are perfect for parties, special occasions, or simply when you're craving something sweet from Brazil. Enjoy! Churrasco Grilled meat skewers, often served with chimichurri sauce. Churrasco is a popular style of barbecue that originated in Brazil but is enjoyed in many countries, particularly in South America. It's known for its grilled meat, often prepared on skewers or large metal spits, and is a beloved culinary tradition. Here's a basic overview of how churrasco is typically prepared. Ingredients. Various cuts of meat. Common choices include beef, pork, chicken, lamb, and sausage. Coarse salt, rock salt, for seasoning. Optional marinades or spice rubs for flavor. Chimichurri sauce is a classic choice. Skewers or metal spits for grilling charcoal or wood for grilling. Instructions. Meat selection. Churrasco offers a variety of meat cuts. Some popular choices include picanha, top sirloin cap, costella, ribs, fraginha, flank steak, coraçao, chicken hearts, linguiça, sausage, and more. Preparation. The meat is typically seasoned with coarse salt, and sometimes with a marinade or spice rub for added flavor. The salt helps form a flavorful crust on the meat when grilled. Skewering. The seasoned meat is threaded onto skewers or large metal spits. The way the meat is skewered can vary depending on the cut. For example, picanha is often skewered in a C shape to form a succulent roast. Grilling. The skewers or spits are placed over a charcoal or wood grill. The meat is cooked slowly and evenly over the open flame, which imparts a smoky and charred flavor. Basting and flipping. Some churrasco recipes involve basting the meat with a sauce or marinade as it cooks. The meat is also periodically flipped to ensure even cooking. Serving. Churrasco is traditionally served, rodizio, style in Brazilian churrascarias, steakhouses. Waiters, known as, gauchos, move from table to table with the skewers of grilled meat, slicing portions directly onto diner's plates until they indicate they've had enough. Accompaniments. Churrasco is often accompanied by a variety of side dishes such as farofa, toasted cassava flour, rice, beans, salads, and chimichurri sauce, a tangy herb sauce. Enjoy! Diners can enjoy a continuous stream of grilled meats until they're satisfied, making it a social and hearty dining experience. Churrasco is not just a meal. It's a cultural tradition that brings people together to enjoy delicious grilled meats and a sense of camaraderie. It's a must-try if you visit Brazil or any country where churrasco is celebrated. Cachorro Quente. Brazilian hot dogs with various toppings, including corn, peas, mashed potatoes, and different sauces. 
Cachorro Quente is Brazil's version of a hot dog, and it's a popular street food enjoyed throughout the country. Brazilian hot dogs have a unique and delicious twist compared to the classic American version, as they are typically loaded with a variety of toppings and condiments. Here's how to make a classic Cachorro Quente. Ingredients. For the hot dog. One sausage or hot dog, typically a pork or beef sausage. Hot dog buns or small baguette style rolls. Mustard and ketchup, or other condiments of your choice. Mayonnaise. Tomato slices. Cooked corn kernels, optional. Grated mozzarella cheese, optional. Shoestring potato sticks, optional. Instructions. Start by grilling or frying the sausage until it's cooked through and has a nice char. You can also simmer it in hot water if you prefer a boiled sausage. While the sausage is cooking, you can prepare your toppings and condiments. Slice the tomatoes, open the buns or rolls, and get your condiments ready. Once the sausage is cooked, place it inside the bun or roll. Start adding your toppings and condiments. Here are some common variations. Completo. This is the most classic version, and it includes ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, tomato slices, cooked corn kernels, and grated mozzarella cheese. Tropical. This variation adds a pineapple slice to the completo ingredients, giving it a sweet and savory contrast. Gourmet. For a gourmet twist, you can add ingredients like sautéed onions, garlic sauce, green olives, or shoestring potato sticks on top. Feel free to customize your cachorro quente with your favorite toppings and condiments. Brazilians often enjoy experimenting with different combinations. Serve your cachorro quente with a side of potato chips or french fries for a complete meal. Cachorro Quente is not only delicious but also highly customizable, making it a favorite street food in Brazil. The combination of flavors and textures, along with the variety of toppings, makes it a satisfying and enjoyable snack or meal.